Okay, so we are going to solve the last problem in curvature and refraction. Okay, so the last problem is a man's eyes 1.75 meters above sea level can barely see the top of a lighthouse, which is at a certain distance away from a man. So what is the elevation of the top of the lighthouse above sea level if the lighthouse is 20 kilometers away from the man? And let number two, how far is the lighthouse from the man in meters if the top of the lighthouse is 15.01 meters above sea level? And number three, what is the dis what is the height of the tower at a distance 20 kilometers away from the man? That will just be visible without the line of sight approaching nearer than 1.75 meter meters to the water. Okay, so uh, in here you can see the drawings which I already discussed to you in our last meeting. So the man is on this point. Okay, and uh, this man can see only the top of the tower and at a distance 20 meters away. No? So, ibig sabihin, there is some uh, obstruction uh, in between this uh, two, two points. No? The point where the person is standing looking at the tower and the tower. Okay, now, it's given that the distance between two points is 20 kilometers now if we are going to to measure the distance it has to be along the horizontal line okay though uh, this horizontal line can also be equated to the k value but uh, for the sake of computation we will as we will use that information to provide us a distance, the, hor the horizontal distance between these two points. Now, let's try to see uh, the height of that line of sight of this man is 1.75 meters. So, kung ang top of tower lang nakikita niya, so this, this level line of the sea level is actually intersecting the line of sight of the man. No? Nag-i-intersect ang line of sight ng tao, ng tao sa at a point sa sea level, uh, kaya ang nakikita niya ay top of the tower lang. So, what is the elevation of the top of the lighthouse? So, ibig sabihin, we are trying to get this elevation here, no? on the top of the tower, okay, above sea level. So, therefore, we are trying to find out the value of H, the height of the tower, uh, which is uh, uh, at H, no? Now, if the lighthouse is 20 kilometers away from the man. Okay, now if you notice class, I already mentioned to you several times that in order for you to locate the, the distance or the, the effects of the curvature and refraction, you have to know the point, common point where the horizontal line and the level line uh, separates. No? Uh, kung saan sila, uh, base, I mean, uh, saan sila nag nagkaroon ng, ng separation, ng deviation. So, dito sa nakita natin, it has to be uh, between the distance between the horizontal line and the level line. Now, this point here, the point of intersection between the line of sight at saka yung sea level no? or sea surface. So, nakita natin dito na nag-separate ang horizontal line at saka yung level line doon sa point kung saan nakatayo yung tao. Now, this man is actually standing along the vertical line. No? Lahat tayo ay, we have our own vertical line. Now, this distance mula sa line of sight, no? line of sight ng tao, to this uh, point along the, I mean, yung, yung kanyang, kung saan siya nakatayo, is 1.75. So, uh, this is actually, the distance is actually the effects of the curvature and refraction. No? Yung distance mula dito sa line of sight, tsaka itong point na to. Because this is the horizontal line and this is the level line. Now, you can, you can solve for your k value, the k sub 1. No? The height of the line, line of sight is also the, 
the effects of the curvature and refraction. So therefore, we can substitute the value of C plus R here in this formula, and uh, we can solve the value of K1. Since we don't know what is the distance from this point of intersection to this, this line of sight. So we use this formula C plus R is equals to 0 0.0675 K sub 1 squared, where C plus R is equals to 1.75, and 1.75 is equals to 0 0.0675 K sub 1 squared. Getting the value of K sub 1, we squared the... Uh, 1.75 divided by 0 0.0675, and we get 5.09. Now, it will be different if you only use the factor, if you use the factor uh, 0 0.067 only without putting the 5. So that, that K sub 1 is 5.11. Okay, so after getting the K sub 1, since we are trying to get the elevation of the top of the tower, we again need this. Okay, so why do we need to get the elevation of, uh, I mean, the C plus R? Kasi ang K sub 1 natin <clears throat> is K sub 1 plus K sub 2 is equals to the K value, which is equals to 20 kilometer. Again, I'm telling you that this distance, no, itong distance, can also be equated to the distance which is 20 kilometers. So because... Uh, the C plus R is very small as compared to the radius. So we can actually equate that no, to this point, this line equals to this level line. Okay, now we again need to solve the case up to para makuha natin ang, ang elevation ng H. Okay, alright. So let's try to solve for the value of, I mean, uh, to get the H value. So let's solve for the K sub 2. Okay. Now dito sa K sub 2, uh, we have K sub 1 plus K sub 2 is equals to 20 kilometers. Where K sub 2 is equals to 20 minus 509. And so K sub 2 is equals to 14.91. So if you get the K 14.91, uh, we can solve for the C, C, C plus R sub 2, which is already the H value. Kasi ito yung horizontal line, ito yung, vert ito yung level line. So this means that this distance is the effects of effect of the curvature and refraction. Now, don't forget the concept of the curvature and refraction. Ang pinaka-importante talaga pag nagsosolve kayo ng curvature and refraction, you know where to locate this uh, this element, no? the curvature and refraction effect. At alam nyo din kung paano kumuha ng horizontal distance by drawing a horizontal line which is the tangent of this point with respect to a certain point. Now, uh, at lahat tayo may sarili tayong tangent line. No? So wherever we are, no, we have all our own tangent line or horizontal line and as well as our level line and the vertical line. So you just have to locate, no, properly locate these elements. And then we solve, now you have the K sub 2, you can solve for the C plus R sub 2, which is already what we are trying to find out in this problem. Now, C plus R sub 2 is equal to 0 0.0675 K sub 2 squared. So substitute the value, you can find that C plus R sub 2 is actually equal to 15.01. Now, therefore, the elevation of the lighthouse is 15.01 above sea level. Okay, now. Tatandaan nyo, ito yung mga tatlong mga points na kailangan yung tatandaan. That when you're trying to find the difference in elevation, is it's actually the difference of two level lines. no? Halimbawa, ito, naghanap kayo ng, ng difference in elevation between these two points no? and this point. So it's that the difference of this level line my, and, and the, this level line below. So makuha nyo yung difference in elevation. Now, another thing is... Um, the distance between two points is actually along the horizontal line. No? E yung distance ng dalawang two points is uh, located along the horizontal line. Okay. Distance. Okay. Alright. So, hindi pwede yung distance ay eh, magdodraw ka, magdodraw ka mula rito papunta dito. 
no that's not the way to do it so it has to be along the horizontal line yan yung uh, concept natin now the intersection of the horizontal line and the vertical line is 90 degrees okay so isa yan sa mga kailangan natin laging tatandaan sa um, curvature and refraction problem okay so we got number one answer in this uh, page now let's go to let's go to the next okay number two how far is the lighthouse from the man in meters if the top of the lighthouse is 15.01 meter above sea level now if this is 15.01 gaan daw kalayo yung uh, yung lighthouse no sa tao now simply k sub 1 plus k sub 2 is equals to 20 kilometers so this is already your answer to number two no 5.09 plus 14.91 is equal equal to 20 kilometers next number three um, number three question is what is the height of the tower at a distance 20 kilometers from the man so let's try to get this and put it here So what is the height of the tower at a distance 20 kilometers away from the man that will just be visible without the line of sight approaching nearer than 1.75 kilometers to the water? Oh, 1.75 meters to the water. So what does it mean? Ibig sabihin, uh, let's say, walang uh, point of intersection dito sa surface ng sea level. No? Halimbawa, eh, nakikita mo lahat ng view ng tower daw. No? So... Ano daw yung magiging height ng, ng tower mo? So, let's say, um, if you're, uh, let's say you are going to draw a line from the foot, no? Kung saan level, yung saan nakatayo yung tao. So, let's say this is the man. And yung line of sight na level line. So, to, in order to project this distance dito sa, sa tower, no? Because we need the total edge. So, we're in H is equals to this level line plus this uh, C plus R, no? Ito C plus R kasi ito yung uh, horizontal line and level line. So, C plus R ito. So, therefore, the total H here should be um, C plus R or H sub 1 plus 1.75. Now, from the drawing, we can see uh, this information, no? Tandaan natin na wala ka ng obstruction. And clear na yung visibility ng tower. Okay? Without the line of sight approaching near 1.75. Okay, now, uh, you have to solve the for the value of H sub 1. Where H sub 1 is equals to C plus R. So, C plus R is equals to 0 0.0675K squared. And... Uh, you are going to replace the k value by 20 because this is your k value now no now if you're going to replace it to 20 the c plus r or the effects of the curvature and refraction is 27 meters therefore h sub 1 is 27 meters so what is the total h total h will be equal to 27 plus 1.75 that gives you 28.75 meters so there you go this is your uh, solution for the last number that we have in curvature and refraction see you on my next video